Hey everybody. Okay, so I am waiting for Michael, who is going to be showing us a new product that's not even available yet. Sitting on my front porch, he is being Ubered from the airport right now. He should be here any moment and we will get a chance to see what this product is that is coming out. All right, so here's the company, Rocket Fire, and this is one of their fuel canisters that goes to the device. Okay guys, so so Michael is here setting the device up right now. You guys are literally the first people to see this on video. And this is just the stand for the device. I'm looking at it because I wanna tell you that the stand, this is a prototype. And what they've done is they've 3D printed a lot of products. And this is one of the products that got 3D printed. Look at this stand. This holds the whole device which we're gonna show you in a minute. And then over here, we got that the case, which we're gonna show you up close. That whole case was 3D printed. Okay, so like I'm really excited to show you this. He's putting it together now, it's a prototype, but uh, it's pretty close to the one that you will get. Okay, so this is the device, correct? Correct. And it is called what? The Rocket Fire. This is called the Rocket Fire, and we'll show you how it works. Now you said this case was 3D printed? It was. And the stand was? The stand also. Okay, this metal handle even? The metal handle, yes. 3D printed, are you serious? 3D printed. That is crazy, look at that. The metal handle, now that looks like it can hook onto something too. It does, it hooks onto grills. Like Kamados and stuff? Kamado, uh, a uh, big green egg, primos. Yep. Oh, beautiful. All right, go ahead and pull it out. Let's it show the home lights up. Okay, so as you can hear in the background, it's a beautiful day of rain. So we are under the cover. Thank the Lord for that. And uh, we're gonna set up the fire right now, go ahead. Okay, so only thing we're gonna do is really just, what I like to do is make a little bit of like a- A little mountain, right? A donut. Everybody does that. Yep. So we just have a donut. And this works on coals, regular coals It too. works on charcoal, it works on wood. It's great for starting a fire pit. So it's, you make a donut. You make a, a donut. Opening in the middle, right? That's it. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna film this whole this whole thing. Okay. So go ahead and do your thing. All right. So then you bring the uh, blow the video game blowtorch. <laughs> I like to call it. Put it right in there. I'm just gonna leave it in here and let it, let it roll. Okay. You don't need lighter fluid. You don't need a little chemical block in there. You don't need straw or newspaper or anything. You don't need a chimney. All you need is this torch. Okay, Michael, you were telling me something. What were you telling me? Yeah, we've timed uh, each one of the, the other, our competitors. And um, so first thing is uh, the, the regular starter blocks or whatever still take about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, the electric starters take about 15 to 20 minutes. Um, the chimney takes 12 to 15 minutes at least. Oh yeah. Uh, at least. And our product, the rocket fire, takes about three minutes to get really get going. So can I, can I pretty much legally say that out of all the ways of lighting the fire, this is the quickest? It's the quickest that we can find. That we know, yeah. I mean, unless you guys want to douse it in chemicals and throw right. a match on it. But otherwise, if you want a safe method, right. this is the quickest method to light your fire. Yeah, and I mean, this is the reason why this, this is here is because two and a half years ago, I was with a buddy of mine, and we were like, you know, we have green eggs. What, why can't we find something that's going to light this faster? It was just no better, there was no great answer. Some of these other things that, that are out there, they work okay, but there's no place to store it. There's, um, you know, you can put it down, but you got if you have kids, you have to worry about the, the chimney being really hot. Uh, same thing with the, the electric starter. So we needed something that was aesthetically pleasing, maybe right. that my wife would actually buy. Right. Um, and at the same time, it had great storage, weatherproof, 
and easy, really easy for people to use. Wow. Okay, so while we're talking to you, let's talk details. Okay. When is this device going to be available to the public? So we're going to launch Kickstarter, it on Kickstarter September 4th of 2019. And then everybody can go on and order one. Uh, we already have manufacturers lined up, so it's just a matter of being successful on Kickstarter. We'll start the, the, the act of getting everything together, and we're hoping to get uh, all of these out before Father's Day of 2020. So this would be a great Father's Day gift for next year. This you can line it up. Great early Father's Day gift. Tell, tell your, your spouse uh, this is what, uh, what you want. Okay, now I noticed you had uh, a little little rocket fire fuel uh, canister. Am I going to be ordering my fuel from you, or where do I get my fuel? Yes, we so we have a proprietary canister that is um, it's a hybrid between propane and butane, right. but it also is in a it's a in a foam form. So in other words, you know, if you had liquid propane and you turn it upside down in a torch, then you have a flamethrower. We don't want that, that's dangerous. Right. So the foam content allows us to uh, have it in the canister, you can turn it upside down, whatever else, no problems, much safer. And now you told me that that tip unscrews, you're gonna show me once it cools down. <laughs> yeah, yes. <laughs> How that, I'll get you some nice gloves so, to grab it with, but uh, that tip changes out so that you can use it for like, um, uh, creme brulee or searing a steak. Right. So right. a lot of people have been interested in finishing sous vide. Um, it's it's a single. Once you take the tip off, the tri flame tip, you uh, just unscrew it, take it off. Then you have a single flame that's about ten inches long at the at the longest. Um, and it's great for you can light with that also, but you can also finish off steaks, finish off um, sous vide stuff, and. Uh, I haven't tried creme brulee, right, um, right. but I'm, I'm sure it would work. Okay, she started. Now, put this right now. now you need something to push it around or what? No, that could do. So here's the thing. I'd like to give one of these away to one of my viewers, and I want to know, is that okay? <laughs> that's basically all I'm asking. I think that that's a great idea. Okay, because um, I know they're not going to be available until next year, but I love my viewers, and I love giving whatever you have if it's possible giving one to them so we will do a, a a giveaway contest one of the great things about this company is they know you may have a kamado gel you may have a big green egg so we got to take care of both colors they take care of the green and the red that you already saw and there's another option with the stainless steel that will come in a black case if you don't have kamado gel or big green egg and they have green and red cases so whichever one works for you, they sell both of them. You just tell them which color you want. That's beautiful. Okay, I know I have a link down below, but you guys are so lazy you can't even look down. That's just crazy. So this is what we're going to do. You're going to go to www.rocketfiretorch.com and just send them a message and write them and join them and follow them because this product's awesome. In the meantime, the uh, Kickstarter program is down below and the link to their website's down below. And I just want to thank uh, Michael for coming out. He flew out here, he just arrived, Uber just dropped him off, and we shot this video just for you. So thank you guys, I love you. Take care, and we will keep bringing you great products.